Hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. So last when we left off, uh, we we loaded our content for our fade animation. Uh, so now that we have the content loaded and we set our scale, then we, we got all the uh, things set up that we need to, well for the most part. So we want to do at the top, we want to have an image number and we're going to set that in load content we're going to set it to zero by default okay so in our updates method uh yeah so wait, first of all first of all we don't now yeah next tutorial we're going to have to create an input manager but yeah for for now uh we need to for the file manager class and the unload content we're gonna say that file manager is equal to null. So if they unload it, uh, any any class that we declare, uh, like even when we create the input manager class, we will set it to null and such like that. Okay. Uh, so in the update now, now we got our um, we got our keyboard state and everything. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to update the the fade animation and such. So uh, right now we're just gonna do this to cycle through the uh, fading. Okay, so we're going to have uh, a for loop. So for uh, int i, i is less than fade dot count. Okay, so now we have to say that we're going to say that if image number is equal to i, then fade i dot is active equals to true. Else fade i dot is active equals false and then we just have to call fade i update okay so we got our we got our fade animation uh, set up so we can remove this right here and we're just gonna say fade image number dot draw okay oh, sorry okay so we got everything uh, we got everything set up so and to be honest we really don't even need to have this for loop I just thought about it we really don't need to have this for loop what we could do is that when we have a splash screen we're never gonna go back to an image right we're only gonna show one image and fade it out so right up here we can set is active equals to true and uh, we could just say that fade image number dot update okay so now we're not gonna have a uh, transfer uh, from one image to another but okay so we got oh, okay here's our problem first of all we didn't even make a we didn't even make a text file and yeah so the program is even how to run uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to have them up here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder a new folder and we're gonna call this load okay and in this load folder we're going to add um, a new item and we're gonna scroll down to we see text file so you can see that and we're gonna name it splash and whatever file extension you want it so I name it splash.cme okay so once you do that you want to go to the CME and you want to say copy if newer and yeah the build action to none okay so uh, we're gonna say that load equals image And we're gonna load the image from splash uh, image one and just copy this and this is two and three okay so we got our our splash at CME so let's run this oh but hold on we okay so it wasn't set to a reference of an object so let's see what happened instead of doing uh 
instead of doing this, because every single time uh, that we loop through this, uh, we're going to get a new content. So we should just uh, put it out there. And not set to... Oh, the reason the reason why we get this error. So you can put this back in there if you want. I thought that's what it was, but uh, the reason why we get this error is because oh, one thing. Yeah, this is what I did that I messed up. We don't need to have these here. That was my big mistake. We don't need to have those there. We have them within uh, our attributes. We don't need to have our our. our our stuff in there so let's see if that clears up anything so still object object reference not set to instance of object so what we need to do is we need to go to game screen dot cs and um, in the load content what we need to do is just set attributes equals to new and contents equal to new and let's run this uh, so uh, we get index must not be out of range so let's see what's out of range so it's saying fade uh, image number dot update um, they said that they said that our fade animation and never uh, we don't have any so therefore it must not have detected um, this image right here so that means there's a flaw in the way that uh, we sorry that means there's a flaw in the way that we actually uh, load in files so let's check this out so what we're gonna do is we're going to set a breakpoint here and let's see if it loads an image see so it never loads the image so therefore we gotta see what is what's happening with our with our file manager class and it's not loading in the images correctly uh, so what we got to do is um, we got to go to our file manager and uh, when we add in a new line uh, what we're gonna actually I'm just gonna go right here to our contents when we add them and rerun it okay so if we look at temp contents uh, we see splash uh, image one, but let's let's look at our attributes. But our attributes is equal to load equals image, so that's our problem. So our attributes is a problem, not our content. Sorry. So then, what what we're what we're failing to do is that we we're failing to remove this index from the line. So I believe uh, what I should have done is it should be line equals line remove, and. Uh, when we trim yeah so let me let's try and run this one last time see what we get so our so we put our breakpoint back there so if we look at uh temp attributes so now we got our image right there okay so it works fine how it should work so if we continue running this then we see splash image one is not uh, loaded in. So I know it's a lot of errors, but uh, as I said before, I never pre-wrote the code, so you gotta bear with it. So it's actually splash screen, not splash, but I will rename this folder to splash. And let's see if this last time works properly. So as you can see, it faded out. It fades out and then it faded back in, okay? So one thing that we should go back to the uh, fade animation uh, class is is that um, you know how uh, this only happens um, when uh, the increase only changes whenever we have the activate value, right? So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that, and we want to say that if it's equal to um, zero, then we say increase equals to true and in here we say increase equals to false so in case we don't want to work with the activate value like say we're just doing constant fading in and fading out uh, then we'll be able to do so right here okay so uh, and then for the for the so then now that we got that set up 
Uh, let's run this one more time. And it fades in, fades out, fades back in, fades out, fades back in. Okay, so let me close this. And uh, before we even continue, let's go to our game1.cs and uh, let's go to the update and just make it that when you click escape, it closes the game window. So keyboard.getState dot is key down keys escape and therefore when they press the escape key you'll be able to close it so you'll be able to close it easier so we press escape it closes okay so um i'm going to end the tutorial there i know sorry for all the errors that kind of really slowed down the production but uh that is it for this tutorial and then we'll, we'll finish up the sequence of our splash screen in the next tutorial so i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye